Oh yeah, sexy biscuits. Nice. Long black clothes, 1 at once. Sucked at it back in the day and I suck at it now. It's an arcade adventure but I wanted to show you it because not only is it a movie license but you know they, they tried something a little bit different what there being two games but one of those games was it got really 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 good reviews and it's an action or no arcade adventure where you have to solve you know puzzles and stuff like that and escape a military compound because you are and I'm sure you must have seen the movie it's a classic from the 80s there. It's got Steve Gutenberg in. Who remembers when Steve Gutenberg was absolutely huge and then one day he literally fell off the earth. Christ, maybe the flat earthers were right. At least for Gutenberg. Anyway, yeah, it's set on a movie where there are like five is it five or six robots that look like this? This is number five. Number five, he's a military robot and he's struck, that's a laser cannon on his shoulder, and he's struck by lightning and becomes self-aware. Hence, number five is alive. There's a sequel, Short Circuit 2, which basically goes to the big city and then it becomes Johnny Five is alive, I think. Anyway, it's an absolutely fantastic movie and I really do recommend you pick it up. And it's on Blu-ray. Right, let's get into it. Listen to that. That's how you know it's the 128K version. So anyway, Zero, start part one and two, uh, which means if you successfully escape the compound, then you go straight into part two. Part two only, so you can play it if you can't do the first one, which I can, and I'm gonna show you both of them. And obviously, we're gonna have to define our keys. Now, like I said, I just wanted to show it to you because if you aren't familiar with the Spectrum, then it's kind of cool, the stuff they used to do on it when it came to movie games. Down, uh, A, Q up, uh, P right, O left. Uh, M select, right. We're gonna leave the sound on because it's funky and delicious. Right, so, uh, boom. There we go, right. That bottom left hand corner lo looks like, you know, dot matrix uh, paper. Uh, well, it is dot matrix paper. It gives me my update for what's going on. Now, if I press, uh, there is no uh, R520 32 connector, which is what we need because we are self aware at this moment. But uh, we don't have the tools we need to do stuff. So all I can do at the moment is press search and look for that. You go up, down. I like it. Nice graphics. You can actually go diagonal. Your sprite is awesome. Let's not try and get too lost straight away. But yeah. Cool, interesting. This to me looks like good graphics, but that's because I grew up on the ZX Spectrum. But yeah, it got really, really good reviews. Uh, my older brother was quite good at it, but he really liked his adventure games and arcade adventures. I was a little bit kind of, I don't know what's going on. Uh, this, though, is, uh, I've never seen so many couches in a military base. This is where we get our shit going on. I mean, if you had this back in the day, particularly on the Amstrad and the Commodore, I'd love to know what you thought of it, or were you just as bad as me, right? So, right, we've just, we've logged in. One. Program loaded, okay. Uh, link established, right. Two, use program loaded. I hope that means that's these buttons. Three, read. No, that was four, Dave, you're an idiot. Three, read. Uh, program loaded. Right, so let's test it. Right, okay, I love that music. One, search. There is no, no, I don't need it. Two. Oh, you press right and fire, and it's the bottom right-hand corner. See, so, there we go. Sofa, found nothing. Searching, found a blue pass card. Take. Yes, object it taken. So, now you can see that it's your standard sort of simple task-based game. But, I mean, there are loads of like this. Search, weapons, found nothing. But, you know, it was cool. It's, I mean, I would have preferred this back then, even though I sucked at it, to a straightforward sort of text-based adventure. You know, like the Hobbit or stuff. 
or nothing. So we look for the plant. I don't want to read. I want to search. I want to dance. Points for the quote. Palm found nothing. Ooh. Ooh, Johnny Five is alive. Yes, found a videotape. Yes. Object taken. Can I use the videotape? Look at this. This is where it's a bit odd. Finding the actual correct way to, or lining yourself up to leave. Right, so. How do I get you? Look. No, not read. Use. Did I actually select you? I'm just sorry, I'm just going back. Maybe I didn't get use. Right. Search to... Program loaded. There we go. Ah! Ah! Right, that means there should be... There's a locked door. Is the blue card going to get me through there? I don't know. There's locked doors everywhere, to be perfectly honest. Right. Search. So, yeah, I mean... You could argue that it's, you know, um, incredibly sort of monotonous, monotonous, sorry, monotonous, do, 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 sorry, but this is, this is 1987 and this is the Spectrum and this, this is robot for, you know, billions of dollars, it's fucking useless again out of doors. Right. There we go. Uh, one. Door open. Hey, now we're cooking on gas. So basically, search everything. No, no. Right, thank you. I have to use it to cancel the uh, the action. Found nothing. The goggles did nothing. These servers or drawers. Alright, that means I would need a key and not a blue card. Oh, hello. Stuff. This looks like a wreck area, but we're going to look anyway. Found a... Scared mouse? Yeah, because I'm Johnny Five and I care for everything. What was the amazing episode of the Goldbergs where they, uh, he built a Johnny Five, didn't he? And then didn't they try and get it struck by lightning to see if they can make it self-aware or come alive? Hence the fact that Johnny Five is alive. I mean, please tell me you've seen this movie. Oh, look! There's another one. You cannot carry any more objects. Ooh. No. That means I can have a laser. A laser. How do I... How do I fucking... Two, scared mice. Three. Oh, fuck it. Oh! I want the laser. Oh. You seem to go faster when you go on a diagonal. So yeah, like I said, there were loads of games like this back in the day. But, like I said, door opened. Am I going back where I was? You know, they, like I said, there were three sort of types of games, wasn't there? There was your standard arcade, there was your arcade adventure, and then there was your full-on adventure. I think I'm going in circles. I don't know. The fact that it's very yellow... Uh, ...doesn't help. Oh! Look at you with your non-blue card door open thingy. I think... No, no, this could be a new one. Right, no, hang on, let's see Link. Let's try Link. Right, there we go. Try that. I need a drop command. God, fucking hell. So let's use read. No! Alright. Go! Let's go back up. 
I understand this is probably not the most exciting of gameplays. But you get the point. So, listen to the amazing music. I'm pretty sure Crash Magazine or your Sinclair, one of those, you know, guys, guys, magazines back in the day, had a map for this. Because people used to make them themselves and send them in, didn't they? Alright, they've upgraded their security. Okie dokie, pick it a pokey. Right. I'm assuming, from what I can remember, basically the adverts, you know, showing screenshots, that all three formats were essentially, you know, bar their appearance or graphics, the same game. Anyway, yeah. So, let's have a Scooby at the side two, which is Johnny Five has escaped the actual compound. Uh, or number five. He's number five in this and Johnny Five in the second one. And then, um, obviously, he's outside. So, yeah, let's give that a whirl. Right. Uh, back to the start. Boom. Better redefine the keys. Okay, down, up, uh, right, left, uh, select. I'm not sure how relevant that's going to be because we're, we're in a sort of, well, not a platformer, but you know, well, it's been ages since I've look. I'm outside. And I can jump. And I can fire. And I can duck. And, yeah, I assume if I hit any of Mother Nature's goodness, ooh, then I'm, I'm fucked. Well, that's health, basically. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. See? Made in America. You're not sticking me right back to the beginning. What's up with his hands? He can hear the music, apparently. I don't think it did quite put me back. And the animals do, seem to, once I, I don't know, got past, seem to stay past. Yeah. Injured, scathed, broken. No, no. Ooh, balls. I am the worst built robot in the world. Made in England. Hmm. Right, let's try that again. Yeah, you're gonna see less interesting stuff than you did in the first uh, side. Yoink. I can catch him up. I may not be built very well, but I got beans. What's that? Oh, I got power for my laser. Piss off. Why don't you just make it a little bit harder, Ocean? Fuck off. This, this is, yeah. So on the first side, you just got lost in the world of not knowing where you're going. And on this side, you just get destroyed by potholes and Mother Nature. Pretty much like living where I do, actually. If I'm honest. Oh, I killed... Ah, oh, fuck it. The animals can die then. I mean, that takes my... Woohoo! Yeah, I don't know what that noise was. Stay in the middle of the screen. Yeah, so basically, if it's a pothole or an animal, the animal's going down. Yoink! Number five is switched off due to a severe amount of depression. This is not going to happen. One more go, but yeah, seriously. This game does not mess around. Right. Oh, fuck balls. Number five, you're a pussy. See, he gets upset when he shoots them. They're just killing machines. They have no, you know, they're not sentient. Think calculator. Oh, balls. I guess I have to decide which animals I want to sacrifice. Nice little bit of Parallax going on, and it's alright graphics. I'm assuming on the 48k that you had to load this in separately. Oh, shies and balls. Fuck it. Death to all animals. 
Yeah. I do like the fact that you can fire forwards, but I'm wasting my ammunition or laser. The laser was insanely powerful in the movie, wasn't it? I'm going to call it quits there. Short circuit on the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. Um, it's incredibly hard, whether you're doing the... Uh, well, the first one is incredibly monotonous, um, you know, because it's an arcade adventure. And the second level, the the arcade arcade bit, is just incredibly hard. I mean, if you played this, I would love to know what you think. And, as always, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you later.